<laughs> you did mention the FFmpeg stuff before. So, I've joked about, like, recording videos and streaming with FFmpeg because you can do it. Like, FFmpeg is incredibly powerful and you most can. people don't understand, like, what it can do. But you actually record stuff with I FFmpeg. Love... A lot of software, like video editors on Linux, depend on FFmpeg to actually generate the the final render. Yep, yep. And so, if you can do that, then why not use it to record? I mean, OBS does depend on FFmpeg, mm -hmm. or at least the uh, um, libraries that FFmpeg supplies. Mm -hmm. And so, it's like, if OBS can do it, why not just go straight to the source? And so you just use FFmpeg to record everything and sometimes stream and take screenshots. It's entirely possible, but it's also a headache to set up. Right. Well, I'm, I'm sure, like, once you've got it set up, you're not going to be running the... Co you're, like, you're not going to type the command out every time. You just have, like, a, a script for it or an, an alias for it just to, like, you know, get something done in the next hour. Uh... But it's getting yeah. that first with, with DWM. stage done. Hmm? Yeah, with DWM, I just have custom key binds, and those custom key binds just launch scripts mm -hmm. that actually contain the FFmpeg commands. And so that's just what I do. So if you I just use key binds, and if, if I wanted to monitor output, mm -hmm. then I just go into a terminal and type in the script name. Mm hmm and just do it that way. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing like a screen recording of like with FFmpeg, like what does that command actually look like? like how big is that command? Messy. Actually, if That's you what can it looks like. If you can <laughs> find the script, can you just like dump like the script into Discord? Oh yeah, totally. Uh let's do that. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we can just do the. <laughs> Is I I'm just gonna dump the ASCII text in okay, in the script fine. file. I yeah, think that's that works. Gonna work better. <laughs> But generally, this is this is what it looks like right here. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Some of it is setting up audio. Some of it is setting up the frame rate. Some of it is dealing with CUDA nonsense, mm -hmm. and all and the rest of it is just formatting. Okay, so for anyone just like audio and crap like that. Right. Right. Uh, so for anyone just listening, uh, first line is setting up the file name. The second line is the output directory. Uh, then I don't even know how to explain it. So there's setting CUDA in here, setting the frame hey, rate, hey. screen grab the resolution, um, linking pulse, linking the microphone. I don't even know what half the rest of this does. <laughs> So, so I can explain it. Do, do you want me to explain it? If you want to, sure. Let go ahead. <laughs> we can work our way through o this. Okay. So, 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 so you were right about the first part using, um, so setting up CUDA as the hardware acceleration, mm -hmm. setting up the frame rate, then setting up X11 grab mm -hmm. as the basically taking the X11 output and taking it as an input. To right, basically right. record, saying a resolution. The thread queue size is absolutely stupid. I still don't know what it does, but <laughs> if you set it, then it stops an FFmpeg warning. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, then, you ha then you just have pulse outputs or inputs, mm -hmm. like the microphone and the um, stereo. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. And yep. then you, um, the filter complex and Amex inputs. Mm -hmm. Is just to combine combine those two pulse audio inputs mm -hmm. and merge it into basically one like concatting them. Right. Then you'll have um 
making sure that the format is um, H.264, still using CUDA and the NVIDIA encoder. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is just weird yeah, stuff that makes it work. CRF is setting the quality <laughs> and, then, and then PIX format, that's the, um, um, the, the pixel format. It's, yeah, and then the G is just saying the final frame rate. I see. And then, finally, the output file. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I also use FFmpeg to take screenshots and stream. Streaming is an absolute nightmare with FFmpeg. What is it the... doesn't work half the time. Yeah, what does the streaming one look like? Because I, I've seen people try to stream with FFmpeg, and it usually doesn't go too well. Um, technically, it's a stream. So the thing is... So the thing is, it works for the first five minutes until it just crashes, and I'm still trying to figure out why it's doing it. I see. I see. So I'll just do this. I made sure that, um... The script doesn't have any sensitive information on it. Oh yeah, make and sure the sensitive you don't information is <laughs> is dependent yeah. on like is a file in Etsy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just because of the stream key. Yeah, I was so with the script it's just a variable. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, so a lot of this rest a lot of this is similar, so frame rate, X eleven grab, resolution, thread Q size, where's the new stuff? Uh, the bit rate. So the new stuff is, the new stuff is basically just saying bit rates, dealing with the actual audio format. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't set up the audio format, then you can't stream to YouTube. It just fails. <laughs> with Twitch, you could you could probably not set it up, but it probably will still fail because. Probably the way of how RTMP handles things. Mm. But. This is nonsense. <laughs> Screenshots are actually a lot more simple because you don't have to depend on audio. It's just I would grab imagine. one frame of the X11 grab mm. input and output it. Output a single frame as a PNG file. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Why FFmpeg? You know, that's a good question. I hate myself. Fair. Fair. Uh, <laughs> there are very ba lightweight tools you could use that could take screenshots. <laughs> and, like, to record video. So, basically, the way this started mm -hmm. is I wanted to compile OBS. Sure. The problem is that OBS switched over to QD6 and doesn't allow QT5 builds anymore. Mm. And so I tried to compile QD6. It failed because um, FFmpeg nonsense with libav or whatever it was. Mm. And so I just c couldn't compile QD6. It would just fail. Mm. And I couldn't diagnose the issue at all because I compiled ffmpeg normally so i didn't know what was the issue so i couldn't compile obs mm -hmm. and so i was like you know what obs uses ffmpeg why not just use ffmpeg mm -hmm. and so that's why i now use it <laughs> but with a new fresh installation mm -hmm. i managed to compile qt6 i see but it's like why would i want to depend on OBS and set up all this stuff when I already have the scripts on my system. I see. I see. <laughs> so now it's just... That, that's that's it, what you see here. So now it's just, it works, so why change it? Exactly, yeah. Right. It works perfectly just fine, so it's just like... Except the crashing... Why, why switch over at... <laughs> I still want to fix it and figure out what the issue is. Mm -hmm. I just haven't yet. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have an answer for you. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer either. Uh, <laughs> I I tried. I tried messing with the script a few times, but mm -hmm. it just ended up the same. So I'm just like, eh, we'll figure it out later. Right. <laughs>